Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I'm the Cyber Rift Guru. I appreciate everyone watching the videos. Uh, so this is going to be part one of a multi-part video, probably going to do three parts or so, to show you the uh, recording sign that we are in the process of building. So it started out as a, a wood project um, and it moved into this uh, scene, uh, I'm sorry, a 3D printed version. So what you see in front of you here is uh, Fusion 3D. It's kind of my go-to uh, 3D modeling program right now. Uh, I know a lot of people use Tinkercad. I like uh, Fusion. It's uh, It just uh, resonates with the way that I like to operate and the way I like to build things. So, not going to do a, a tutorial of Fusion right now. Just going to show you kind of the part, kind of walk you through the design methodology. So, right off the bat, uh, in the, the main component here, we have two main parts here, the, the main body and the front. Uh, we'll talk about the main body first here. So what you have is just a, a, essentially a square. Um, I created a box, I extruded it, I shelled it, I added the fillets, um, I added a square here, and then I added a fillet, um, put the taps for the holes, um, holes in the bottom here for where the uh, wireless, a Wi-Fi device will go on a little hole on the side to plug in the USB port here. And then on the front side, uh, basically extruded it even further. And I'm going to flip it around to show you the cool part. Um, boom, there you go. You can see uh, we've offset the inside a little bit so it fits snugly. Um, and we added this nice recording letter here. You can see that it is uh, super, super thin. Um, and so uh, what that allows is these thick letters here will uh, darken when you light up from behind. And so turn this off, turn this back on, turn the rest of the components on. Um, the LED strips here in the bottom. Now I will tell you the strips I actually own are uh, 30 LEDs per meter instead of um, this example here which is actually 60. Uh, so there's only four LEDs instead of eight, uh, no big deal. Uh, the Node MC module and then the standoffs and kind of show you the full part here. You plug the uh, USB in here, uh, it'll be wired into the, the lights and then the front will be the, uh, I'll show you the screws. I added the screws just for effect. Um, I left them offset here a little bit because I actually ended up uh, toying with the thickness here so uh, that's okay and then there's bottom screws here you can see I'll, I'll turn the uh, front screws off and the front plate off you can see the screws go up and I'm, uh, the intention is to put knots on here to hold this down uh, right now uh, you could 3d print these uh, standoffs if you wanted to um, I actually purchased some nylon standoffs it's just easier for my purposes at the time. Uh, we'll see how, how it pans out with these um, the pins here. You can see the pins are very close to the standoffs. Um, hopefully it'll work out. We'll see what happens. Uh, if you want, um, I can certainly post the, the whole uh, Fusion model. Uh, Fusion is uh, uh, free to download and use if you're not going to make any sort of profit off it. You're educator or maker or sort of thing. So, And then... Uh, that's pretty much it uh, for the model itself. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I did, um, interest of full disclosure, just want to point out some of these uh, changes that I made here. You can see this sort of rounded edge. Uh, there's, so there's this thing called design for manufacturing. It's uh, uh, changes you make to your 3D model to actually enhance its ability for manufacturability. And so that's what I've done here. Thicken the, the corners here so that whenever you're screwing in, there's plenty to attach. I uh, filleted the corners here to make sure that they're not, um, you know, 90 degree angles, so you don't have any heating issues necessarily. Uh, the parts vary. Uh, it's a uh, eighth of an inch thick, uh, you know, roughly a 12 millimeters. Um, it, it's it's fairly substantial. Um, so on the previous video, uh, it, it's going to work well. So. 
if there's any questions, please uh, drop me a note in the comments. Uh, as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you don't like the video, as always, thumbs up anyway. I uh, appreciate your time, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Thanks. Bye. No match.